He is perhaps the most ambitious, influential, and innovative musical wizard on the planet. The 2014 Prog God Award goes to Peter Gabriel. Thank you, Bill. <clears throat> I've always had uh, trouble with this um, God thing. So, in one of my regular conversations with the clouds, because you know I don't really know what's up there, I said, if you are up there, why don't you make me a God? Dear? And a couple of weeks later, I got to the email saying, <coughs> here's the good side. Do you want to be a god? Well, that was an easy answer. Pro god. So, now I have to give you a little bit of the history because uh, I think I'll lay this down too. This pro, well, <coughs> I think you've probably seen the links ads. You're just one dab, and you're surrounded by beautiful women. And you probably think to yourself, how could anything be that powerful and that effective? Well, I know <clears throat> something which is even more powerful and effective. It's called prog music. The only problem is it works in exactly the reverse effect to <laughs> links. <laughs> No, it's true, there was a woman who came to a Genesis concert, and I think it was in the Fox Club in Southall. <laughs> and the band were totally transfixed. <laughs> in fact, their, their hands never left their instruments. <laughs> true professionals. But, uh, but Genesis, you know, which is where I'm sure this all began, you know, we, <clears throat> we were called awkward, arrogant, pretentious, difficult, and that was just the road crew. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was an amazing thing to be part of, and, uh, you know, it changed a little bit when I left, and they said to me quite often, you know, how come they're a lot more successful since you left? And they have a lot of pop hits. And I said, these are desperate men. <laughs> and, you know, it's great coming up here, because when you're the singer, you often get credited uh, a little unjustly. You know, you, you take all the credit. And the guys, you know, you see the band politics every single day, and... Uh, the TV interviews, I see it still today, and there's the singer being asked all the questions, and the rest of the guys looking at him. He's like, oh, you shut up. You know, and it, it, so, <clears throat> so for a singer to get a little extra appreciation means that you can really enjoy the suffering of the rest of the band. <laughs> and and how, how seriously can you expect to enjoy your own suffering unless you learn to thoroughly enjoy someone else's. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm actually quite delighted uh, that there's been a, a rebirth of interest, or even young people, even women, go to Prague <laughs> nowadays. We're all too old, but <clears throat> yeah, we've seen the pictures, we know how to do it. Uh, but I was lucky enough because I always worked with smart people. I worked with real musicians and right from the outset. And uh, two of whom are with Anthony Phillips and Steve Hackett here tonight. <clears throat> but, um, but we had people that were so passionate about what they were doing. And, and actually, uh, despite Prog being probably the most derided musical genre of all time. There were a lot, as today, of extraordinary musicians 
just trying to break down the barriers to to reject the rules of music. You know, <clears throat> I think Basie said there's only two types of music, good and bad music. And for a lot of us, it, it was the idea that you could take influence from, from any place and anywhere, church music, soul music, um, funk, uh, what, whatever it was, it was just another color to paint with. And I remember some, I think it was the Crowborough New Echo or something that called us folk blues mystical. Because they, they hadn't got the category and, and when we tried to flog our wares, I used to sit time after time in the reception. I was never very good at uh, selling the band. Um, we'd be told we could market a rock band or a folk band, but what the hell do you think you are? And what's been great about a lot of the people here is that they've thrown away all the barriers. They've just been prepared to do stuff and stick it together um, in a way that feels good to them. And uh, it's that ambition that I love and admire in music and musicians. And uh, so I salute that in all of you and thank you so much for this wonderful award.